You are watching a master at work. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. This is Sam Prentice Makes Things Happen. I'm Sam Prentice back once again making it happen. And today we are looking at the Anycubic Cobra Max, which is just here. It's a 400 by 400 by 450 FDM printer, newly launched today, being Sunday the 27th, along with another Cobra printer and a bunch of other resin printers. So let's get straight on into the review of this one. This one, of course, being once again the Anycubic Cobra Max. And if there was a word to describe this thing, it's certainly going to be big. With the 400 by 400 by 450 as I've already previously mentioned, it is also a pretty quiet printer, other than the fan noise. And it, yes, it does work straight out of the box. Thank God for that. It doesn't take much of a keen eye to understand where the origins of this 3D printer have begun. As you can clearly see, if the Creality CR6 Max and the Anycubic Viper had a baby, the Anycubic Cubic Cobra Max would certainly be its offspring. It does have some similarities also to the Anycubic Chiron because of course the build volume on that printer was exactly the same as this. So we've kind of got an amalgamation of where Anycubic are kind of heading right now and it does look like the bigger printer market is something that they're also interested in. Just on the Chiron again it does appear that Anycubic have also reused the bed from the Chiron and uh, I must say it actually works really well. So all that aside, what is your hard-earned money going to be buying? Well, the Max is seriously impressive with the build volume. It's got a 32-bit motherboard, a giant 24-volt, 500-watt PSU, Z braces, a 25-point auto bed leveling, filament runout sensor, and restart after power loss. Now, what I will go on to say straight away is that they haven't reused the motherboard from the Viper. This is a new star motherboard. I've not seen this anywhere before. It's a TriGorilla Pro with a version number of 1.0.4. And it also has the mother of all MOSFETs. In fact, when I opened this up, because I really wanted to check the board out and make sure that it wasn't gonna be the old Viper style, because where's the innovation in that? As soon as I saw that MOSFET, I was like, oh my God, what the hell is that thing? It's humongous in there. And uh, it does a fantastic job, of course, 24 volt. And, uh, you know, it obviously needs a little bit of a pack, which is obviously why that 500 watt PSU is strapped to the side of it. And it's right around this point that we discover that the Cobra name is actually the latest range of products from Anycubic, uh, with the stock Cobra coming with a newly designed hot end enclosure. They've been teasing this over the last couple of weeks. It's got an auto bed leveling component inside of it as well, which is different from the Viper. And uh, it's got a differently designed hot end enclosure, uh, auto bed leveling, of course. And for those of you with a keen eye, and it's been much debated, this looks like it's going to be a direct drive. So it's a direct drive system for the Cobra, but the Cobra Max has the old Viper style. And uh, whereas the Cobra Max is very much the bastard son of the Viper. And uh, it's really good to see that the Anycubic range is developing across the platform here. And of course, the other resin printers are the M3 ranges. And of course, there's not a huge amount I know about that right now because I'm an FDM guy. I don't do a huge amount with resin. But what I did notice online is that they do have an auto top up option now, uh, which I think is actually going to be a bit of a game changer. I've not seen that with anything else. But to be honest with you, I don't pay a huge amount of attention to resin printing. So what about the bad points? Well, out of the box, the print head needed some adjustment. And if you're new to 3D printing, adjusting your eccentric nuts is an important aspect to the hobby. On the Cobra Max, it's just a case of that little spanner rotating the nut on the back of the printer head to pull the slot wheel in. On the bed leveling side it is very, very similar. In fact, exactly the same to the Viper, which is a bit of a shame because the Cobra uh, as a standard printer does seem to also have a different print head. So it's a shame that they didn't put that on this printer. So in fact, very few bad points on the build. So let's look at quality. Now, all 3D printers are going to need tuning and adjustment. This one was easy to go together, bolt and plug style, and the setup is stock from the factory. And overall, it printed really well, apart from some retraction elements, which again could be caused by over extruding or maybe the filament is too hot. Either way, further tuning will fix this. 
I did go as far as actually printing out some retraction tests as well, and I whacked the retraction up to around about 7.5 millimeters. But of course, any prints that had no retraction, such as this particular vase by Clockspring, had no issues whatsoever. So looking at the Viper versus the Cobra Max, the Max's motors have been beefed up in order to pull that huge bed back and forth. The display on the Max is the same, but the plastic casing has a couple more details, which is purely aesthetic. We don't obviously have the PIA sheet on the Max, which I feel is a missed opportunity as it featured quite heavily on the Viper's USP. On the Max, the Z-Stop is now a single, where on the Viper it was a double, and the Y-Axis also has this huge stepper motor moving the bed around, and along with two adjustment rods. The Cobra has gone backwards to a smaller style SD card, which I personally do prefer the larger one, and as you can see, BMG Extreme seems to be the same but the motor has also been beefed up and finally as you can see on the bed there are no adjustment points just the same as the Viper so it is true auto bed leveling so for those of you who already bought an Anycubic Viper but wanting something a little bit bigger I would say certainly the Anycubic Cobra is definitely going to be a top contender in fact it prints very well out of the box I've had zero issues with it so far and even printing this Cobra which was actually a three day print because I scaled it up and I wanted certain settings and I wanted to put infills and bits and pieces on it it's come out very very well so uh, well done Anycubic so I'm just going to show you how I printed the Anycubic Cobra on the Cobra now I have used the CR6 Max and I've modified this so it's a 450 head height rather than the uh, 400 that Creality's is uh, and I scaled to the print volume the next things I did is I painted on um, the supports very very simple process to do here which is literally just under the mouth now the reason I did this is because I scaled it up I didn't think that it was going to print correctly so all we do is when we pop the supports uh, we make sure that the support enforcers are there as well now additionally to that just wanted to pop into the print settings and just show you a few things here now um, I had modified this to 450 as I said before which is just up here and then if we go down to the retraction settings and it's already there so retraction length i then increased this to 7.5 um, originally it was set at 6 i've set it to 7.5 and it's still going to need some tuning so it's going to be a little bit of printing out bits and pieces and just doing some tests before you uh, hit the button to do a i don't know a 10 day print on something like this uh, as i say this was a considerable amount of time to do and let's have a quick slice on this and see what this is going to come in at okay so the rendering is finally finished and we are around about nearly four days i don't know 40 minutes off of, uh, off of a four day print there again if you printed this small i don't think you'd need that support but that for me is just a little bit uh ambitious for for many printers in fact uh, so there we go. So that's how I've set that up. Uh, if you guys have got any questions or comments, uh, or if you want me to share the uh, share the files, I can do that. I'm going to carry on doing modifications to this. I'm going to tune it. I'm going to PID tune it and uh, make sure that everything is set up correctly. So uh, and I'll do a video on that as well. So thank you once again to Anycubic for sending me the Anycubic Cobra. Uh, I'm uh, I'm well chuffed with it actually. I'm going to continue to use this. And don't forget there are also two Facebook groups at the moment. One for the Viper and one for the Cobra. The links will be in the description below. Don't forget also to hit that subscribe button. Follow along on the fun adventures that I'm involved with. I'm going to continue to tune this printer. Uh, so if you do have any questions or comments, leave them in the description or join the Facebook group and we will see you next time. Bye for now.